My name is Laura, I'm 32 years old and I come from London, United Kingdom. Uh, it's been a really amazing experience, it's my first time visiting Africa, so everything is new to me. Um, it's really been fascinating to have the opportunity to see uh, a new world and from such a genuine experience, uh, this is not like being a normal tourist, going to touristy places, this is experiencing the true life of a village and tasting the local food cooked by the local people and um, and of course the added the added amazing part of the experience is to be able to support the local community it's just it's just amazing i didn't know about excellent development um, but the employer I work for, uh, called PPL, is a small management consultancy and we're an ethical company and PPL has been supporting excellent development for many years. So uh, PPL invited uh, one member of excellent development to do a presentation for us to find out more about what Sandams are and I was truly inspired by how simple the technology is and the difference it can make, not just from um, a social point of view, but also from an environmental point of view. I think it's both elements are needed. Uh, so clearly a, a charity like Excellent needs all sorts of support, some practical, some financial. So in this case, I thought it was a great opportunity to get involved and get my hands dirty on the ground. That's unique. I, I haven't come across other charities that do that. So um, my physical skills limit what I can do. Um, um, so most of what I'm doing is um, using a shovel to put the sand into the wheelbarrows. Um, and that's quite fun. You know, you sort of get into a rhythm and just carry on. And we're, uh, it's fun to work with the guys who move the wheelbarrows because they're counting. So they come back and tell you, oh, we're on 20, we're on 30, we're on 40. And you feel like, and then you see the heap of sand going up at the end. And you can see the impact of your work. That's quite fun. The first day we went to see a few communities who've who've had dams for a while, and we've seen the impact on agriculture. So the highlight, I guess, has been seeing the whole journey from having a dam to being able to um, irrigate a plantation, then seeing the tomatoes being picked, and then on Tuesday seeing them being delivered and sold at the market in Tawa. And that's why dams are so amazing. I would say do it. Uh, be open-minded, be prepared for feeling uncomfortable at times. This is not a five-star hotel kind of journey, um, but it will open your eyes and it will, it will open your mind um, in ways that very few other experiences can, I think. It's a, a unique opportunity of seeing Africa from a, a very unique point of view and seeing places that you wouldn't normally be able to visit as a tourist. And being in touch, we have local guides, so we have the opportunity to ask so many questions uh, to them about things. And um, so definitely, if you've got a curious mind, join.